All right, then to get started, what we're going to be doing is opening up Dreamweaver. And if you already don't have a number of um, files available, you can look at the files that came with this particular video tutorial, and you can um, place the CSS layout folder on your desktop. And what we're going to do is, as we always do at the beginning of any project inside of Dreamweaver, and that's define a site. So what you would do if you're starting from scratch, you've got your folder on the desktop. Even if you don't have that folder, that's okay. You can work along with the video as we progress and you'll be able to follow along and it might take you a little longer to put things together but you should be able to work with this even if you don't have the sample files but if you got the video from killersites.com it'll come with a few sample files so after placing those sample files on your desktop let's go to defining a new site and at this case what you should really be doing is just you know call it CSS links or nav or something like that and here where it says local site folder what we're going to be doing is pointing to your desktop and on your desktop you'll see CSS layout that's where I told you to put it there's a couple files in there nothing really crazy but let's just um, open that up so I'll choose that and I'll say save and we'll click OK so as you can see I've got these elements in place and there's a number of files in here there's one that says fixed and if you did follow along with us from the last time, uh, you'll remember that this particular file, I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, this is when we were exploring CSS layout, and I was showing you what a fixed pixel design looks like. But you'll notice that there are no navigation elements here in the sidebars. And if I were to return back to Dreamweaver for a second, what I'd show you now I don't really need this one open, so I'll just close that for a second. And what I'll be showing you now is the liquid layout. And that was another thing that we looked at when we were attempting to work within our CSS layout techniques. And you'll see that this one has more of a liquid layout that, you know, can accommodate your screen size, whatever it was. But you'll notice that here we have a finished version of this liquid layout. And in this particular liquid layout, there are some navigational links. And you'll see that they swap colors just as easily as I'm doing right here. So you'll be learning how to do that. And at the same time, we'll also be looking at how to create a navigational element that can span you know, a horizontal area, like the header area or something along those lines, if you wish. So we'll be exploring all of these things. And now that you've had a look at what they're going to look like, I will ask you to open up the just links HTML section now rather than get into working with links and uh, list items as you'll see here I will go to the split screen and we'll explain exactly what's happening here in just a second but rather than um, get confused with all of the other code that's going on inside of these examples the liquid layout and the fixed columns and stuff like that what I'm going to ask you to do instead though is to open up this particular file where we can concentrate solely on working with the list items and in doing so what we're going to be seeing is how to create these links and these list items in a fashion that will make it very easy for us to work 